Avery. No, Avery. Kate. Avery. Thank you, kid. Avery Kate. Come here right now. Come here. Avery. Come here. You're not listening. Okay. Where is he? Do you girls want a blanket? Yeah. I think Okay. Let's get in. Okay. Get you a blanket. Are you girls ready to go? Yeah. Alright, let's go. As you guys can tell, we are outside. Um, I am currently on our second camera, the M50, and I'm taking the girls to the park. Katie's actually planning on going to Target. It is going to be so nice the next like 10 days in Colorado. I'm like, I'm going to soak up every single second of it. So we're going to the park today. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here we come. Okay, we gotta find Ella. 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 Where are you? Huh. Eleanor. <gasps> ah, there you are! I see you! We're hiding behind the wagon. Oh, shit. I see Bobo! Oh no, Bobo! Me. Hi guys, good morning from me. I am here at Target. So I'm here at Target because I need to go grab a few things and Target is Target is always a place to go. So I'm here this morning. Hopefully it won't be too busy and we're gonna go in, grab what I need, and hopefully it'll be a quick trip. I don't have the girls with me. Ben has the girls this morning so that I can like shop in some peace and hopefully I can get everything that I need. Alright, we are done in Target. I got some clothes for the girls for summer. I got some shoes for them. I got some Easter stuff. I just got some fun stuff to play with outside because this whole week is going to be so nice outside. I did spend a hefty amount, but thank goodness today's video is sponsored by Fetch because I get rewarded for what I just spent. This is a very long receipt. I'm sure you guys have heard of Fetch before, but if you haven't, it is a rewards app where you just scan your receipt and you get points for that. It's literally that easy. And then later on you can redeem those points for gift cards 
cards to Target, Starbucks, Amazon. You can look on their app. They have an endless amount of choices. It doesn't matter what's on your seat or where you're buying from. You can buy from Target. You can buy food. You can go online shopping. Anything that you buy, you can scan through Fetch and in return get rewarded for. Fetch is also a free app and it's so easy to use. So I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to scan my receipt and the points that I get back. So I'm going into my Fetch app. I'm going to click on the camera. Okay, now I am submitting and I got 1,350 points for that. I'm also going to show you guys how to do an e-receipt. As you guys can see right next to the orange camera button, there's a little blue e-receipt button. And if you have your Amazon connected as well as your email connected, it'll automatically scan your receipts for you and apply your points to your account. I just made a few Amazon purchases. So this one is processing my new Amazon purchases. And just like that, I get points for shopping. So like I said, Fetch is so easy to use. It's so fast and it's really just that simple. So if you guys want to check out Fetch, the link is in my description. You guys can use my code KBBABY for 3,000 points. And this is a limited time offer. You guys don't want to miss it. Now Ben won't be as mad at me for spending money. So now I'm turning on my air again. So sorry if it's loud, but I need to go home now. See the girls, I have a lot of work to do today. Plus we're going to a museum today. So... We need to go get some work done. All right, guys, I am back home now. I actually need to go to the bathroom really, really badly. So I ended up putting the girls in the wagon and ended up like running home. I've had them a quick lunch and now they're actually both down. Hopefully Ella will take a nap today. This morning, early this morning at like 8 a.m. I woke up and I was like, I'm going to clean the couches and like these bar stools and some other spots we have some stains on. I, I took some before. I just got done using like a little shampooer machine for it and also like this little Thing that gets all the lint off of your couches and they look so good they look like a it looks like a brand new couch this couch you really don't use that much but still look at it there's like no stains all the stains came out and then this cushion was like this couch we use so much and i always sit here and the girls always sit here and like this is like the most popular seat and look at it there's like no stains whatsoever oh this is this is the thing i'm talking about see so you just it just like gets all the lint out oh you gotta feel them too Nice. And then we got brand new couches. These look good. Oh yeah, you have to check out the barstools too. The barstools were really bad. The barstools were the worst. Oh yeah, these look really nice. I'm not getting cloth barstools ever again. Yeah, no, that was definitely a bad idea. Ellie, guess where we are? Nanny! The museum! Look who it is! What? what are you? Are you a ranger? Yeah? What do you have? Binoculars and a butterfly? You look so cute. What do you got? A crayon? All right, so some blue. And then can you put some blue right here in this side? And more right here. All right, you guys, we are finished at the museum. Super fun. I'm sorry, I'm driving. Avery's crying. It's a mess. But we are in our neighborhood now, and we are not our neighborhood right now, but like our future neighborhood, because we're going to see our house because they are going to put shingles on, or they should be putting shingles on, and we want to go see, oh my goodness. Whoa, look at this. This is the first time the girls have been out here to see it. What do you think, Elle? That's our house. <gasps> Your house. What do you think? Big, isn't it? Are you gonna live there? Oh my, this is our first time seeing it. Ella, which room do you want? Do you want this room or do you want that room? You want that room? Yeah? This is the room that you want right here? With this big old window right here? Is this a room you want? When you're a teenager, you can't sneak out the house like that though. <laughs> what do you see? Say, mommy told you. Oh, they're working on other houses out there, huh? Mm -hmm. Hey. Okay, let's go see the other room. And which one's Bobo's room? Where's Bobo's room? Look at that. <laughs> That's Bobo's room, huh? Oh my gosh, why does my ponytail look so short right now? My hair is not the short. I did not get my hair cut. Oh my god. Hi guys, I wanted to come on here and just say that this video was obviously filmed before Easter and it was filmed a little bit ago. I was just waiting for it to get approved by Fetch so I could post it. But I wanted to talk about like the whole room situation and what I'm thinking because Ella picked like the front room and she wanted Avery to have the other room and I think that I was leaning that way anyway if the girls had separate rooms but I don't know yet what I want to do when it comes to like separate rooms or the same room when we move in Avery will be two and a half two and a half 
Avery will be a year and a half and Ella will be three. So I don't know if that's a good enough good age to have them in a room together. So we'll definitely have to see in a few weeks if that works out. If I do have them share a room, then I will make a, the other room a playroom for them, which I would love to do. I would love to make a playroom. I have so much like inspiration and fun ideas for a playroom and a shared room and separate rooms. So either way, I have a lot of different ideas that I want to do, but um, I should need to make that decision if I want to put them in the same room or separate rooms. Maybe we can try out having them in the same room here for a few days and see how they do. Maybe we should do that. We actually haven't been back inside of the house since that visit, which was like two weeks ago. So uh, they have done so much more to the house, I'm sure. And we just haven't gone in because last time we went, as you guys saw, all the doors were locked. The garage door was on, so we couldn't get in on our own. And we, we have to go ask for a key, which the office was closed at the time. So we need to like schedule an appointment to go and see our house. So since we're talking about the house, I'll kind of give you guys a little bit of an update about how I'm feeling and how things have changed since I uploaded that video. When I, I, wanted you, I wanted you guys to know that when I uploaded the video, I didn't upload it or film it till I was completely out of my rut and completely feeling better. Now that it's been a couple weeks or like a week since I filmed that and everything, um, I feel a lot better. I'm glad that I kind of got out my emotions and people understand what I'm saying and I got so many kind messages saying that a lot of you went through the same thing when you were buying a house or building a house or whatever it was and Damar said that it was a very normal feeling to have when you're making a huge purchase and just a huge step in life. Hopefully that will be it when it comes to how we feel about the house but you never know but I definitely think that my period had a little bit to do with that it was on my period when I like went through that so I did, that definitely heightened the emotions for sure but I feel a lot better um we decided like with our landscaping we're not going to do anything extra like I kind of wanted to do when it comes to like trees and all the stuff that I want because if we're not going to be staying there but for like two to five years then there's really no point in doing anything extra and spending all that extra money if the trees won't even like be there by the time we leave but this just shows that like our life is not stopping here. It does not stop at this house. We'll definitely be like traveling the US and maybe outside of the US to find um, a forever home for family or just the next place that we want to live. Let me know what you guys think about a shared bedroom and a playroom versus having separate rooms and what I should do with that. Just let me know your thoughts. So um, you guys can tell me that on my Instagram, on my latest post, or you can DM me on Instagram kind of here and kind of share your thoughts. So let me know. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on all the social media stuff below. And we will see you in the next video. Bye guys. You